Okay, thanks for listening today. Today we're going to go over Ambit's Jump Start Training. This is how to get your new Ambit business off to a quick start, or a jump start, is like we call it. Now, the goal of this in the next few minutes is to show you how to gather your first few customers, invite and sponsor your first consultants to get promoted to the first level of regional consultant and earn your first few hundred or even few thousand dollars. What we're going to do in the next few minutes is go over your why, the list, which is the most important ingredient to starting your business, the brief invitation, how to do an invitation properly so you're successful at that, how you can avoid falling off into Death Valley. We're going to talk about how to present the opportunity to people, how to do a closing call or call in some help that you're going to need to get people started in the business, and most importantly, how to help your new consultants do the same thing you're doing right now. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do before you start any of the fundamentals, though, is to determine why you're in this business not just to make a little extra money, but really what you expect to get out of this. And what I ask is, if you had enough money coming in every month on a residual basis to pay all of your bills without ever having to work again, how would that change your life? Dream big. Set the whys to why you're in this business. It might be as simple at first as a new car, a house, how you're going to pay off your credit card debt. You might want to build a savings account so you can work toward retirement or maybe hasten that so you can have an early retirement. For some of us, we want to work it hard enough to build financial freedom. That's the ability to do whatever you want, whenever you want, and with whoever you want to do it. And all of those are achievable right here in Ambit Energy. And the most important thing you'll get from your business is more time. Well, we can't create more time. We all have the same number of hours in a day and the same about number of days on this earth. But we can show you how to spend your time with your family and friends, church or synagogue, doing the things you enjoy in life rather than working on a job for the next 40 years, eight hours a day, five or six days a week. So once you establish your why, build a vision board. You know, build something in your home. A lot of times you just take literally a paper board and cut out some pictures out of magazines of places you'd like to visit, things you'd like to do. What would you buy if money was not an option? What kind of car would you live in? Where would you like to live? The home of your dreams. Most of us don't live in the home of our dreams now. What would the home of your dreams look like? Be specific so much that you cut them out and build a vision board with that. And once you've done that, you're empowered to start your business. And you do that by building the one biggest asset we have. You don't need a lot of money to be successful in Emmett. You don't even need a lot of skills. What you need is a list of people you know. And it's said that the average 18-year-old knows 2,000 people by the time they get 18. Just frequently can't remember who all those people are. And I assure you, as you get older, that list gets smaller and smaller that you can remember. But we're going to talk about making a list of your family and friends, people you know and love, people you work with, people you went to school with, the professionals that you use, who's your doctor, who's your attorney, who's your insurance agent, who's your real estate, who's your mortgage broker, people you do business with. All the business people you know are great prospects. And it's America, so we like to say here we do business with people that do business with us. So we're going to talk about making a big list of everyone you know. Now, the key to success in this is not to prejudge. If you prejudge and edit your list or limit your list, you will limit your success. You cannot determine who will and who won't be successful in this business. All you can do is make a list of everyone you know, follow a little system we have to prioritize who you contact first, the ones with the highest probability, and then start contacting and telling them about Ambit Energy. We're going to talk a lot about the fact that we tell about Ambit, we don't sell it. You don't have to convince anybody to get started in this business. The deregulation of energy is going to be the greatest redistribution of wealth America's ever seen, and you are now with the leading company that gives you the opportunity to share in those profits for years and years and years to come. We're in the right place at the right time. We're going to share that opportunity, but we need to make that list. So what we want to do is go to a list builder. Go to your Power Zone, log into your back office, and in Power Zone you'll find a list builder. It's like a phone book where it lists all the names to help be a memory jogger for you, if you will. It starts in the A. Who's your accountant? If you don't have an accountant, who are you going to get for an accountant when you start making all the money? Because you're going to need one in this business. You know, uh, where do you shop? Who does your nails? Who does your hair? Uh, there's, it, go down that list and you will come up with a lot of names you never thought of. Again, there's a couple thousand names in your head. You just have to find a way to get them on paper, and it does have to be a written list. Write it on paper or type it in your computer, but you need a written list that's specific just to your Ambit business. And who do you put on that list? 
everyone you know on a first-name basis. Even if you think they're too successful or too poor and unsuccessful to be in this business, if you prejudge, you might be cutting off the next key to success because we're also going to talk about it's not just the people you know, but it's their list and the people they know because one contact may lead you to hundreds if not thousands of other people and you will find success as you build the network our way. So go through that memory jogger and power zone and make that list. And then we're going to prioritize that list. In there, you'll find a system called Prime, where we rate the prospects based on that. We're looking for people-oriented people. We're looking for people with resources. By resources, I mean they either have the money, $400 to get started, or they can come up with it. We're looking for people with time. Now, I'm not talking about having spare time. I'm talking about time management skills that they can build a, a business, people with the best resources. You're going to call your poor friends or broke friends, but call them later. Call people that have $429 and can get started and people that manage their time good. Uh, eyes for influence, the single biggest category. You're going to rate people based on their influence in the community. These are, you know, the most influential people are frequently people like teachers, doctors, attorneys, ministers, coaches, people that move lots of other people. And the way I judge folks is I judge them on a one, two, or three. I'm going to assign a point value. You'll give them a one if they're less influential than you. You'll give them a two if they're about the same as you, or three if they're more influential. And that way, when you get to the end of prime, you've got numbers by each person. You simply add up the numbers, and you call the people with the highest numbers first. You know, uh, it's, it's important to look at where they live. And a lot of people say you look for folks that are in proximity to you, which is within uh, 60 miles of you. Personally, I think you're looking for people that, that first priority is people that live in the proximity where they can sell electricity and or natural gas. Work first in the deregulated areas and you'll have the most successful. Go through that in your power zone. Go through prime. Rate it. Pick out the prospects that you're going to call first. And now it's time to contact those people and tell them about the Ambit opportunity. And to show you how to invite them to look at the business, please welcome my good friend, one of the most successful inviters in the business. And by the way, you don't have to learn how to present. You don't have to learn how the compensation plan works. All you have to learn is how to invite people to take a look at it, and you can be as successful as this man is. Please welcome one of the top man earners, executive consultant from New York, Mr. Ray Motti. Ray? Well, guys, step number three of our Jumpstart training is, is the invitation. And Steve did a great job explaining how to make the contact list. Well, now you've got your list made, and the next step is to pick up the phone and start sharing your excitement and enthusiasm about this business. What I'm going to warn you is this is where most people run into problems with their training because the tendency is to get on the phone and be so excited and so enthused that you spend 15, 20 minutes trying to explain the business. The point of the invitation is to keep it short, sweet, let them know you found something big that you want them to take a look at. Guys, your goal when you pick up the phone is to be on the phone one minute, two minute, and set the appointment to have this person look at the presentation. What's going to happen is when you call them up, they're going to start asking you questions. They want to know what you're excited about. So when you call somebody up, guys, what you want to do is limit the information. How do you do that? Well, as soon as they start asking you questions, you want to turn it around on them. We've got three simple questions that if you can learn, you can be a top income earner in this business. Depending whether you're in Texas or New York or Illinois, you've got to obviously change the services that we offer. But let's start off with New York. I call up a friend of mine. He hears the excitement. He hears the enthusiasm in my voice because I just started my business with Ambit Energy. I want him to know that I'm excited. So I call him up. I tell him I've got something he needs to take a look at. And the natural question is, what is it? Now, guys, the worst mistake I can make is start talking about the deregulation of energy and 429 to become a consultant and how I get promoted. I tell him it's important that I need to sit down with you. I need about 30 minutes of your time. Uh, I, I, need, I need your opinion on something. Guys, short and sweet. The natural reaction is, what is it? Don't give in and start explaining the business. The biggest mistake of the invitation is it turns into a 10-minute conversation. If the person you're talking to continues to try to pull information out of you, you need to turn it around and ask them three simple questions. 
When I call up my prospect and I'm trying to set the appointment to either take him to a meeting, to have him look at a DVD, to meet with me and my sponsor, and he keeps asking questions or she keeps asking questions, here's the three questions I ask him. How many people do you know that use gas and electricity? And obviously you've got to adjust it if you live in Illinois or Texas. But how many people do you know that use gas or electricity? Guys, you know the answer to that question or what it should be. And the answer is everybody I know. That's a stupid question most times. Question number two, do you think they'd like to pay less or potentially get it for free? And the answer normally is, Ray, everybody I know is looking to save money with the economy being the way it is. Question number three is, how would you like to earn a residual income and potentially thousands of dollars by referring people to this program? And their question is, how do I do that? I need to get together with you guys. The whole point of the invitation is not to convince somebody to whip out their credit card and sign up right away. The reason that you're on the phone with that invitation, keeping it short and sweet, is to set the appointment. Your job is to get this opportunity in front of as many individuals as you can. So step number three of our Jumpstart training is the invitation. What I'm going to tell you about the invitation, one, two minutes. Ask them when they have a slot of time that you can get together with them. If you need to ask for their opinion, flatter them. Let them know that you value their opinion. Your job when you pick up that phone, that one or two minute conversation, is to set the appointment. Once you've set the appointment, you've done your job. Guys, in this business, our goal is not to talk people into Ambit. Our goal is to talk them into looking at it. So step number three uh, of our Jumpstart training is the invitation. Step number four, and guys, step number four plays right into step number three. It's called the valley of death. Here's some things that you want to know about step number four. The more you say in this business, the less you make. The less you say in this business, the more you make. This is especially difficult for salespeople because their job is to go out there and sell and sell and sell and close the deal. See, you, your sell in Ambit is not to convince somebody to sign up. Your sell is to convince them to look at the business. And what you need to realize when you pick up the phone, you need to separate the invitation. The goal of the invitation is to get somebody to simply to take a look at your website or to simply get them to come to a business presentation or to sit down with your sponsor or to watch a DVD. That's the invitation, okay? The presentation is when you actually go through with those things, when you're sitting down with them and you're watching the DVD with them or you're at a meeting with them. So you need to separate the invitation and the presentation. The, the, the goal of the invitation is to get that person to commit to taking a look at the business. The presentation is where you actually share the facts with them. Where most people come into problems in Ambit is when they do this. They pick up the phone and they start doing a presentation over the phone and 20 minutes later that person decides, I can't do this business. Guys, that's not duplicatable, so you need to separate the invitation and the presentation. This is basic business 101. And guys, you see some great companies up here, but the one that I like to pick is Microsoft. I want everybody to go back to 1978. And Bill Gates shows up in your town and he does a presentation at the local hotel. And the reason that he's there doing this presentation is he's looking for investors in Microsoft. And he gets up in front of the room and he does a 45-minute presentation on the future of his company. And at the end of that 45-minute presentation, you've got two options to go out there and share that information with your friends and family. Okay? Option number one is, back then, Bill Gates gives you a video. And he says, here's the video, the presentation I did tonight that also has some facts on our company. Option number one is you take that video to your friends and family and you watch it with them. And if they have any questions, Bill Gates gives you his personal phone number to answer questions. That's option number one. Option number two is after you leave that 45-minute presentation, hear about this company for the first time, you go out there and share that information with your friends and family. Which option do you think is more duplicatable? Guys, guys, imagine going back and trying to explain Walmart. Do you think you could do a better job than Sam Walton? Or what about McDonald's? Who would do a better job explaining that business after a 45-minute presentation, you or Ray Kroc? Well, guys, you know the answer to that. If that's the case, then why do we go out there as a brand-new consultant who's been in this business for 24 hours when we have national consultants and great uh, co-founders down here who have videos explain this business? 
See, our job is not to go out there and explain this business to people. Our job is just to simply convince people to take a look. We've got our 526 website. We've got our Why Amp at Work website. Your job is to get them to look at that. Once they look at that, all you need to do if they start hitting you with questions is getting them on the phone with the leader who can answer the questions until you become that leader. Guys, step number five is to present the opportunity. You pick up the phone. Somebody says, great, this sounds good. I want to find out more information. You know what normally gets people to look at this business? Your excitement and your enthusiasm. Now, you need to figure out which one works best for you. We're going to give you a bunch of different tools for you to go out there and get this business in front of prospects. Our first one's the local meeting. You guys obviously have come to a meeting tonight. We want to give you enough information. You see that the meetings work. Why? Because you're still here at a training afterwards listening to us talk about this business. The local meetings are a great tool. What's the best way to get somebody to a local meeting? Pick them up and put them in your passenger seat. Don't be surprised if you invite some people and they don't show up. They don't understand the importance of this because they, they haven't been here before. So, guys, the local meeting is a great tool to get people to come down and look at this. Why is it a great tool? Because of the excitement in the room. Because of the enthusiasm in the room. Because of the credibility when we recognize the regional consultants and senior consultants and executive consultants. They look around the room and they say, I can do this. This is bigger than just me and you. Guys, so our second tool to get this business out in front of prospects is the DVD. And the wrong way is to buy a pack of DVDs for Ambit and give them out like they're candy. Because normally what happens is you give them to a friend or a, or a, a co-worker and what they do is they put them in the backseat of the car. When you give out a DVD, you need to create urgency. If I go to my friend Norbert Hennessy and I give him a DVD, I'm going to let him know this is my last one. I need it back tomorrow because Brian's going to watch it tomorrow night. Guys, this whole business is about creating urgency. And your business is dependent on you getting this business in front of people, this opportunity in, people, in front of people. So you want to make sure that with the DVD, you give them out and you get them back. Guys, in, in, in my opinion, one of the most duplicatable ways of showing this business besides the weekly meetings and besides the DVD is the in-home presentation or the one-on-one -on -one business presentation. You know, there's a lot of times where you've got people you want to get this business in front of, but the night that your weekly meeting falls on is not a good night for them. And if you really want to get your business exploding, don't just wait for the meetings. Take the meetings of people. What does that mean? If you've got a brand new consultant, one of the best things you can do is go to their home, have them invite a few friends, family, next door neighbors over, go over there with them as the sponsor, simply put in the DVD, let them do a quick testimonial, and you're the expert there to answer questions. The reason that in-homes are so powerful, they're duplicatable. You don't need a big hotel room. You don't need a projector or anything like that. Guys, it's not real hard to get in front of somebody at somebody's house. A lot of times the, the in-homes are, are, are work real well because people don't feel threatened going to the next door neighbor's house. You put off some soft drinks. You put out some pretzels or chips. You invite some people over. You tell them excited. I've got a friend of mine who's coming to show us a business. Guys, one-on-one -on -one presentations. Go into Starbucks with somebody. Panera Bread. Your job is to figure out the most effective way to get this business in front of the greatest amount of people. And if the weekly meeting's not working for you, if every night in your neighborhood, in your area, you invite three or four people and they don't show up, and week after week after week, you need to find a more effective, more efficient way to get this business in front of people. Well, there's no more effective way, more efficient way than an in-home presentation or a one-on-one -on -one presentation. Guys, Ambit has also supplied us with a great website called Why Ambit Works. And here's what I'm going to tell you about Why Ambit Works. The best way to use this website is to call up a friend of yours or call up a coworker, call up a family member. Tell them you're real excited about something. Guys, make it personal. You're looking for big-time business owners. Don't just send out a mass email. Call that person up. Let them know you've got something you're excited about. You want their opinion. Send them a link to your website and also create urgency. When I send my friend Norbert my website, Norbert, when will you be able to take a look at it? Nice. Great. I'm going to call you tonight. What time do you think you'll be able to look at the website? Great, I'm going to give you a call around 8.30. Guys, you need to set time. This is about creating urgency. When you're going out there to show the business, don't just call somebody and not follow up with them because if you do that, what do you think the chances are they're going to look at your website? You need to set times with everything you do with this business, whether it be DVDs, whether it be websites or one-on-one -on -one presentations. We've got a lot of great tools to help us build our business. Your job in this company is to do two things. Gather a handful of customers and show the plan. 
and show the plan and show the plan. And once you've got your 20 customer points or more, once you're getting free gas or free electricity, the way you build a large ambit organization is to be presenting the opportunity. Your income in your ambit business is in direct proportion to how many times you and your team show this business. If your business isn't growing fast enough, you need to use these tools that ambit has supplied with us and go talk to some new people. Guys, the last thing we're going to talk about as far as showing the business, do you know why people will or will not look at your business? Your excitement and your enthusiasm. See, when you join Ambit, you've got hope back in your life. And when you walk into your job and you're walking a little bit different and you're talking a little bit different, people want to know what that feeling's from. How do I feel like that? Guys, most people will look at your business because of your excitement. If you don't believe in Ambit and you're not sure if this is going to work for you, do you think those people want to look at the business? So it's critical that when you approach somebody about this business, you be in the right frame of mind. If you're having a bad day, you probably don't want to call somebody up. If you just found out that you just got another check in the back office coming from Ambit, or somebody joined your team on your third level that you're excited, it's probably a good time to pick up the phone. People can read your excitement and your enthusiasm, and 99% of this business is here and up here. You need to be excited. So step number three, four, and five, the key to building a large business is your excitement and your enthusiasm. Now guys, if at any time when you're showing this business to a consultant, they balk and they don't want to become part of your business. If they tell you, it's just not for me, you know what you do at that point? Great. Do me a favor and help me out and try my service. Guys, great customers are people that don't want to be consultants. I always go for the consultant first because the worst thing they can tell me is no, and then I can ask them to do me a favor and try my service. Normally when people look at this business, the one thing they'll say is, it does make sense to me. What they might tell you is, it's just not for me. I'm not a people person. I'm not looking for something at this time. Great, then do me a favor and try my service, and let's help you get free gas or free electricity. And guys, now for step number six in our jumpstart training, I want to bring up Steve Thompson, who's a national consultant, a top, top money earner with Ambit Energy out of Austin, Texas. Steve, thank you. Now, the first time a prospect tells you no, you need to stop right there and do the three-way call to your upline, regional consultant, senior consultant, executive consultant, or national. Get someone to help you right there. Uh, practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. So the first time people tell you no, call in help. We're here to help you build your business. But now to do three-way calls, you need to, if it's going to be a telephone call, you need to set up in advance with someone to do your three-way calls. Like if I'm going to use Ray to back me up on the three-way call, I'll let Ray know I'm showing the business to people tonight. Would you please watch for my call? He'll agree and be watching so that he knows when I call it's because I've got a prospect at that critical moment. So we'll set it up in advance. I'm also going to build up the leader and edify him tremendously. I'm going to let him know that, you know, I knew you'd have questions and I'm new at this, but I've got a guy watching for my calls right now. I can't believe he's helped me this way because he's one of the top earners in the whole business. He's an executive consultant out of New York just building a huge team, and he's waiting for my call right now to help me with the business. You see, what you've done at that point is you've not only told the prospect he can get help uh, right now, but he can get help in the future because there's people helping him there build their business. And then I say, let me put you on the phone with Ray right now, and I'll call Ray, and I'll put him on the phone, and then I'm going to be quiet at that point because it's not about what I say anymore. It's going to be about Ray, the expert, the upline, talking to my prospect. So I'm going to let the leader talk after I've built, up, built him up a lot, and then he's going to talk about three real important things. The credibility, the credibility of our company, our founders, and the company itself, the backing of the company, where the finances come from, and how we've done hundreds of millions of dollars already in our first three years. He's going to talk about timing, how energy deregulation is almost $500 billion industry, and it's only going to deregulate one time, and it's happening right now. He's going to develop that sense of urgency why they need to be part of this right now, especially now that we're a three-year-old company. There's no longer a question about whether or not Ambit works. The question is just, will you go to work? And then he's going to talk the most about team. 
Because it's teamwork that makes the dream work. And what that prospect wants to know is that you've got a team of people, just like I have Ray. We have others that will be there to help you every step of the way. So, again, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. And then you're going to engage the prospect. I would engage a prospect by asking them just my favorite question. What did you see that you like best about this opportunity? And I'll let them give me an answer, and I repeat that answer back to them, and then I'm going to ask them, what else did you see that you like? And I'll ask that up to three times until the prospect has told me three things they really like about this business. And once they've told me three things they like about it, who are they to say no to themselves? They're ready to get started in the business at that point. Now, the job is to get your consultants paid. Once you get them started, say, you know, by the way, after I've answered their objections, we've done the three-way call, all I want to know is... What name would you like to, your checks to come in? What's your social security number? Where do you want your checks sent? Let's get started. Assume that they're ready to get started in the business. And once you get them started, that's not the end. That's the beginning. We want your new teammate to engage in the business. So your job right then is to get them engaged and working right away. The most important thing is you've got to get their first check coming to them. In my opinion, you need a check coming to them at least within their first couple of weeks. So in the first 24 to 48 hours, you should help them, not just tell them, but help them get their first five customer points. Now, you can get ahead because two of those customer points come from the website, and then they need to get their own electricity or gas and two other customers. Get those five customers. That will pay them their first bonus and also set them up for their first promotion. And the way you gather customers is not talking about rates. The good news is you don't have to know much about electricity. You don't have to know about rates. Most people have no clue what they're paying now until you bring it up. What you have to do is let them know that you need a favor. You need them to help you. It's not going to cost them anything. It won't inconvenience them at all. And in New York or Illinois, it's guaranteed to save them money. In Texas, it's even bigger than that. We'll save them an average of 10 or 15%. So we'll be saving them money. But that's not what it's about. What it's about is I just started my own business, and I think it may allow me to retire early, and I need your help, and you can help me just by trying my service. Just try my electric gas or gas service and help me out. It won't cost you anything, won't inconvenience you, and it'll save you some money. Will you help me out? Will you do a favor? Notice what I did there is I I asked for the favor twice, and in the middle I told them why I need this help. It's because I started my own business to try and retire early and that they can help me just by trying the, the service. It's just that simple. If you ask enough people for their help directly, they will help you, so long as you let them know, again, that it won't inconvenience them, it won't cost them anything, and they're going to save some money. Now, the next thing you have to do with your new consultant is plug them in. You've got to plug them into trainings just like this. You can watch this online, but you can also plug into the live trainings. There is conference calls. There's a business builder call. There's conference calls several nights a week. If you'll plug consultants into those calls, they can start get training right away. There's also Ambit University. One of the most powerful training tools is to go to their own power zone in their leisure time, Click on Ambit University and watch trainings just like this and read other training material. Training will help them build the confidence, and it's confidence that makes them successful. We have a Powerline voice messaging system. There's two types of voice message, one that allows us to communicate with each other. We also have an Ambit Power Pitch call system, which allows you to not tell your prospects anything, but just give them a phone number to call and listen to a three-minute recorded message. Power Pitch will do the pitch for you on this. And then Ambition. We, had, we have three websites for that. So far we had Ambition 07, Ambition 08, and welcome to Ambition 09. Looking forward to Ambition 10 and on into the future. But if you'll send your prospects to those Ambition websites, you'll find they'll see there what they need to find their why and get started in your business. With that, I'd like to say welcome to the team. Good luck in your business. Just get excited. Stay totally focused and never give up on your dreams. You'll be successful. Thanks.